All right, we're going to continue with our little series on whittling miniatures. And uh, this new book has started quite a uh, stir with a lot of people to carve miniatures. Uh, whittling Little Folk with um, Harley Restful. Now, I've been whittling miniatures for a long time, and uh, um, I think Harley, most of the time, his stuff was not small. It was mostly large, but he is just showing in a series of, of patterns and uh, his little folk that he's doing. Now, as you look through the book, now Harley is a foremost authority on flat plane carving, and he's just wonderful at it. Um, but as you look at his book, you notice that the patterns really are not real different from one another. In other words, they're all pretty much pretty close as far as uh, what they, they look like. They just got hats on them and things like that. Uh, but the faces and stuff like that. And a lot of, this is very, very common because a lot of, uh, miniature whittlers they go from one specific pattern Jack Price did that he was the foremost on compact characters and he would use uh, exactly uh, very few patterns in fact one pattern in specific one size to whittle his miniatures with and but he would whittle many different types of uh, uh, miniatures from that and that's one of the keys to, to doing miniature or whittling work is that um, uh, I, I myself, when I whittle a lot of my miniature scenes, are done from basically one pattern and you just alter the patterns. And that's what we've been talking about and, and discussing how... Uh, now, we just got through whittling uh, two figures. Uh, a miniature figure with a hat and just a standard miniature figure and these both came from the same pattern all I did was just uh, for instance uh, this is the pattern that I have on my blog uh, and all I did was take and, and uh, add a hat on to him and turned out with this guy right here okay and without the hat this is the person that I created right here. So as you can see, they're similar in a lot of ways, but they're two different, entirely different forms of characters. Okay, now, what I want to explain to you here today and kind of work with you is that from one pattern, when you, you begin to do miniatures, um, you can add to and take away from a pattern. Now, I wanted to sort of show you this as we went by. But now here's, I've taken the same pattern, it's on my blog, Flat Plane Carver, and all I did was extend the head a little bit and come down like this, okay, to create another pattern. And you can create just array of patterns, you can put hats on them, you can do this, you can do that, uh, to create miniatures, but... Uh, and if you look at Harley's patterns, a lot of them are very much similar. He just added tats to them and done things like that. I'm a little bit more primitive if you look at my pieces. Um, but I just sort of take the pattern and just draw things to it. And uh, next thing you know, you have yourself another type of miniature. Now, extending this would probably extend maybe a beard or something like that, in other words. And so it, well, I went out and cut that out. So, actually, this, this, and this are all carved as this is all, these are all carved from the same pattern. All right? These are all derived from the same pattern. I just altered the patterns a little bit. And that's the wonderful thing about, about miniatures and, and that you can actually use one specific pattern. By altering that pattern, you can get so many different characters. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you some carvings that I've done that, in other words, some scenes that I've created uh, by using the same pattern but carving different figures from it. Okay, do you see that? That um, And, and we're, we're learning a little lesson here. We're just not carving. We're learning some lessons about how to take a pattern and altering it. 
Now, like I said, with, with this fella here, all I did was alter the pattern by adding a hat on to him, and I just went across, and y'all saw how I, uh, I showed you a pattern of it. Just altering the pattern a little bit. Okay, now, what if you look at this, planting this on here, that's what you have. And now you've seen yourself, well, why did you alter the pattern like that? Well, I'm gonna show you. We're going to carve. Um, This pattern. I'm sorry, I have to. Now, how can you create a different character from this form of pattern? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that. All right, now on each side, all I did, as I showed you, was I just extended the head a little bit. I just took the head. I extended a little bit and then I came back this way with the pattern like this okay now we're going to create an entirely different character it's going to be very similar but it's not going to be exact so the first thing I want to do is I want to bring this down in this area this is sort of going to be like a beard Now, if I wanted to put a hat on him, he could be a hillbilly or anything like that. But I just want to kind of show you how we're going to do this. Now, of course, this is where the head comes. So I'm just going to separate. I'm sorry. Let me get in a good carving position. I'm going to separate the head and this area in here. See that? Again, as usual, taking the rounding the shaping. I'm sorry, I don't like the word rounding, shaping the head. Now look at your head just for a minute. I'll we'll take a little bit off in here. But as you can see from both sides, that we're slowly beginning to shape this head. Okay. This, this is more than just a carving lesson. This is a lesson in how you can, A lot of people say, I can't find good patterns and stuff like that. And there's pl plenty of patterns. But what's really neat, and not, not only when you begin to create your figures from one pattern like this, you can make sure that they all are about the same height. Maybe not the same width, but the same height. So, um,
Okay, now let's look at the piece that we're doing here. Let's stop for a minute, get an idea of what we're doing here. See that? It's entirely different uh, when you look at the head. It's entirely different from this figure. If you look them from the side, but it's carved from the same format. Is what we're doing. Okay. I think my time's up right now, but we'll continue.